In this video, I will show you how impactful decisions are and how you can make better ones to save a huge amount of time and energy. So if you're tired of working for mediocre results, you've clicked on the right video. You're about to learn five ways to make better decisions so that you can remove distractions and focus on what matters to you. Hey friend, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Dan, and in this channel, we explore the strategies and tools to become more effective and productive. So if you're anything like me and you're always eager to learn more about productivity and performance, please consider subscribing to the channel. And now let's continue with this video. Nothing is more frustrating than wasting your time. How would you feel if you work hard on a project you don't even like only to get zero things done? You know what happens when you can't progress at work? You start procrastinating because nobody can stay excited when moving so slow. Success loves speed. So today we're gonna learn how to do more with less. Let's address the situation first. You wanna be more successful. So you start doing more stuff to the point where you don't have any free time. You feel overwhelmed and you don't see many results despite your efforts. So how is it possible that you can get more results by working less? Here's a story you'll find familiar. Let's say you are a productive person. You wake up motivated, energized. It's a new day and you know what you need to do. Of course, you wanna have a super day, so you carefully think of how to dress today. You then move on to the kitchen and wonder what you should make for breakfast. Maybe you're checking your phone while you're doing all of this. Let's say you receive some urgent emails you didn't expect, and now you worry about it for the rest of the morning. And as you check your phone, you also need to say no to social media, games, and other notifications that you might have. No big deal. And while you have breakfast, you might be thinking, what am I gonna do today? Since you read those emails, you will want to do that first. And once you finish, you remember other things you need to do in your morning routine. You've already been doing a lot for a few hours and you start stressing about that project you wanted to start. You told yourself you'll start tomorrow, which is today, but haven't found the right time. But because you are a productive person, you start working. But it's even been two minutes and you're already getting interruptions. Your boss has a project that needs your immediate attention. Someone calls your number. Or you forgot to do something else and you just realized it. You have to stop what you're doing. If you really have bad luck, you get three of these moments per hour, if not more. But there's not much you can do. Things just happen. The sun starts to set and you're pretty sure you gave your best shot today. You do what you can do for the rest of the day and when it's over, you go to sleep. And while you're in bed, you think about your day. Let's just say it's not very positive. Yes, you work hard. The whole day you feel like rushing. And your goals, you barely made any progress. Shocking, isn't it? You remember working for at least four hours, but all you got were only 30 minutes worth of progress. So you start to wonder, what have I been doing all this time? Is this why I worked so hard for today? Needless to say, that doesn't help your motivation for tomorrow. You wake up the next day and don't know what to do. You try even harder, but the same obstacles appear. Procrastination becomes more and more tempting. What the heck is going on? It doesn't matter how much momentum you create. One distraction leads to another until it consumes your whole day. And that, my friend, is the whirlwind of life. If you respond to all distractions, you're gonna run out of energy before you start working. And we know for a fact that distractions are always coming. Is this something we need to accept or is there anything we can do? Good news is there is. You already know how to be productive. All you need to do is make better decisions. Use this knowledge to remove, automate, and simplify your tasks. And once you do that, you regain control of your life. The first step is to reduce the number of decisions you make to save more energy. The fewer you have, the better you make them. Your first task is to grab a piece of paper and write a list of all the decisions you need to make. There is no order in particular. Simply add all those things you do every day. Here comes the first question. Can you reduce the frequency of those activities? Can you make it a weekly or a monthly habit instead of going back to it every day? Go through each item on the list. If it's a yes, convert them into a weekly or monthly habit. This will instantly save you at least one hour per week. Keep in mind, you can delay some tasks, but others require your daily attention. You probably shouldn't skip brushing your teeth working out or going to the office. But you might, for example, dedicate one day of the week to do all of your accounting or only meet with your team once a week. 
If you can't lower the frequency, at least try to delay it until you finish working. Which leads us to the second filter. How can you protect your environment from distractions? You already organized yourself, but what do you do with all those distractions that come up on the fly? Simple, you don't let them enter your work environment. If distractions come from your phone, turn it off and move it far away. If it's people that are distracting you and that comes from your environment, ask them politely to not bother you at certain set times. And if that doesn't work, you can find a room where they are unlikely to distract you or move to another work space altogether. And if you get distracted on the internet, use extensions to limit what you can do online or place timers so you know when you're getting carried away. Check the list again. Where are most of your distractions coming from? Block those sources. You can't lose focus when you don't even know if you have notifications. Now, if you have many emergencies in your life, this may not help much. You're already expecting a load of notifications when you finish and you don't even know what they are. So instead of delaying them, what if you didn't have to do them at all? Think of tedious tasks you need to do. Maybe it's paying rent, so every month you need to loop up for your landlord's account number, enter the details and send the amount. Or maybe it's shopping, so you need to go grocery shopping every week, but you don't know what to buy. Or you spend long minutes writing the shopping list. Or maybe you're expecting a message from someone. You don't like notifications, so you need to constantly check the app in case you miss something. I think you get the idea. Let's get back to our list now with a new question. Can you program some apps to do it for you? If so, I don't know what you're waiting for, but if you can, you can at least set a reminder so you don't have to think about it all the time. So back to the three examples. You can automate your account to pay your rent every month, as for shopping, you can make an inventory of everything you should have in your kitchen, so you just go item by item instead of thinking randomly. And for messaging, you can set autoresponders. For example, tell them you're working, but will write back as soon as you finish. Check your list again and look for automation opportunities. Set it up right now so you never have to think about it again. Now, not all of your tasks can be done by a robot. Which leads us to my next question. And it's this one. Can you find someone to do it for you? If your friends or families also have to do that task, maybe they don't mind doing it for you as well. But typically, you want to hire someone so you don't have to think about it again. And when it comes to money, there's no limit to what you can get. You can hire virtual assistants, cooks, house cleaners, lawyers, accountants, fitness trainers, dietitians, food delivery, tax preparers, gardeners, even dog walkers. Why would you do a $10 an hour job when your time is worth so much more? We haven't even got into business outsourcing. And to be clear, you don't do this just to save time. But as a team, you will achieve the best results when each member focuses on just one thing. So back to the list. I want you to write down everything you can delegate, even if you can't afford it yet. This should be one of your priorities as soon as you increase your income. So far, you know what decisions you should remove, block, automate and delegate. But there are some tasks that nobody can do it for you. But that doesn't mean you will be wasting your time. Even though you can't eliminate them, we can try to reduce them as much as possible. Decisions can look overwhelming when you have too many. But what if I told you you can make one decision that removes a hundred? Here's the strategy behind it. Many decisions depend on others. So if you solve the highest order, all the other deriving decisions will never take place. What's the one decision that will remove a hundred? For example, you might have the idea of running three businesses to triple your revenue or you can get rid of them and only focus on one company. Once you know where you should focus, then you try to make the best decision. And when it comes to important decisions, things can quickly become complicated. They often bring lasting consequences and it's easy to make mistakes. So what system can you use to find the right answer? Simple, create a checklist so you don't have to think about it. You just follow the steps and before you know it, it's done. You can try to remember everything, but you'll probably forget something. With checklists, you get it perfect every single time. In fact, I recommend you create a checklist with what you have learned so far. My last tip is before you simplify a decision, ask yourself how critical it is. You want to spend more time thinking on the important decisions while trying to get rid of the meaningless ones. 
try to remove, block or automate the relevant decisions. As for the important ones, you'll have two types, reversible and irreversible. If it's the first one, make them as soon as possible. And if it's the latter, take as much time as you need. Remember to use checklists to avoid mistakes. Now, even with all of that in mind, you'll still find last minute decisions you couldn't prevent. But I got one more strategy for you. Think in advance about the decisions you'll make. Imagine how much time you would save if you did everything the night before. You can do things such as preparing your clothes, throwing the trash bag, or writing down your goals for the day. This way, you no longer need to think about work. You just do it. You also find you get much more work done. After removing everything you don't need, you might get the job done in half the time. Because there's less stuff, you're more focused when you work and calmer when you relax. You'll find yourself having more time and energy than you ever thought possible, which of course leads to a happier life. Wouldn't that be amazing? Try these tips and let me know your results in the comments. If you enjoy this video, you'll also like my next video where I share how I use batching to increase my efficiency and productivity. Until next time, bye bye.